All right, can I retire at 55 with $500,000? That's what we're going to look at here. Now, we have to take in some characteristics of this person that is retiring at 55. Now, we already know they have $500,000 saved for retirement. Asking the question, can I retire with $500,000 at 55? So, they're age 55. Now, Social Security at 67 is going to be $2,800. That's what I found is a good average for people at full retirement age. Retirement expenses, $50,000 a year. That's the average across the entire United States. It could be different based on where you live. If you're in LA, it's going to be different than when you're in Tampa like me. So $50,000 is the number we're going to use for this scenario. Obviously, your scenario is going to be individualized for you living in Toledo or you living in Des Moines, wherever you might live. The rate of return for the money that's in the market is going to be 6%. That means our investments are going to stay invested in the stock market. They're going to pay us a retirement income and we're going to assume a 6% rate of return for the rest of our life. Now the stock market's averaged right about 8% since 1950, but we're going to use 6% because we're using our money to live off of. And we're going to use inflation of 3%. That's just an easy round number. Inflation's averaged right about 3.2%. 4% the last 108 years. So 55 to 67, we want to get the full retirement age. If we're retiring early, we want to try to get the full retirement age. So $500,000 in retirement assets, $4,166 is our monthly expenses. Okay? Because that's $50,000 divided by 12. Just an easy way to do that. So we're going to need $4,166 a month off of our $500,000. Now what I did, because I wanted to be extremely accurate for this video, down to the penny, I actually put this into my retirement planning software. This 4,166 is gonna have inflation of 3%, but that's gonna be calculated on a monthly basis as well. Normally when I do a video like this, I calculate inflation on an annual basis, but I wanted to be so exact, so down to the penny. So you can answer the question, can I retire at 55? with $500,000. So this value is going to get inflation on a monthly basis. So 4,166 plus inflation is what we need off of our retirement investments from 55 to 67. We're going to earn 6% in the market and there's 3% inflation. Okay. So how long or what amount of money do we have at 67? Well, unfortunately, in this scenario, we have zero dollars. It actually only makes it about 10 years from 55 to 65. So can I retire at 55 with $500,000? No, if your retirement expenses are $50,000 a year. So I come back and I say, okay, how can we retire? at 55 with $500,000. Something has to change. We either have to increase the rate of return on the money in the market, we have to either lower inflation, or we have to lower our monthly expenses. I don't necessarily want to go down the risk scale to try to earn more income in the market, so we're going to leave that alone. Inflation's not going down anytime soon, so it's going to have to be monthly expenses. So let's use the same scenario, $500,000, we want to get from 55 to 67, we're going to have a 6% rate of return and 3% inflation. How much money or how much retirement expenses does that have to come down in order to accomplish this? Well, according to the software, again, I wanted to be very, very, very detailed for this. It's 2,500 bucks. So $2,500 a month is what statistically can be pulled off of this money to make sure it's going to last for the rest of this person's life. $346,000. So we've pulled out $2,500 a month plus inflation. We've got 6% on our money in the market and we're down about, what's that, $160,000 in round numbers, 500 to 346. At 67 though, we're gonna have Social Security kick on, that's $2,800. Our investments have inflated, or I'm sorry, our expenses have inflated from 2,500 
to 3714. So that's our expenses now. This is our social security. We're still going to get the same rate of return in the market when we're doing the assumption. So 6% and 3% is inflation. So now we ask ourselves, how long is this going to last? And based on inflation calculating on a monthly basis, a 6% geometric rate of return, 3% inflation, this goes to zero at 95. So we get this person from 55 to 95 if their retirement expenses are $2,500 a month. All right, can I retire at 55 with $750,000 in retirement savings? Let's look at this scenario. So again, we've got a 55 year old individual. Social security at 67 is gonna be $2,800 a month. We've got $750,000 in retirement savings, okay? I'm not specifying the specific investment vehicle. We've just got $750,000 in retirement savings. Our retirement expenses are $50,000 a year. That is an average annual retirement expense for the United States. So maybe you're in Detroit, you don't have $50,000 in retirement expenses. Maybe you're in Louisville, it might be less. Just depends on where you are in the country. Our rate of return for the $750,000 in the market is 6% and our inflation rate is 3%. That means that our spending is going to increase by about 3% per year. That's because that's the 108 year inflation average, which is calculated by the CPI, which is the Consumer Price Index. So let's look at this. I want to retire at 55. I've got $750,000 in retirement savings. Can I do it? So from 55 to 67, our expenses would be $4,166 per month. That's $50,000. Now, we're going to put inflation on this and that inflation is going to be calculated monthly. I've used my retirement software to get all of these figures because I wanted to be exact down to the decimal point penny, 0 0.001 exact. So I'm not going to use my calculator. I'm going to use some software to make sure we are exactly, exactly correct. Now, 6% is our rate of return on the money in the market and we're going to use 3% inflation okay so inflation is three percent how much money are we going to have at 67 when we kick on social security well simple we're going to have three hundred and twenty eight thousand three hundred and eighty two dollars so we're down whoo four hundred and something thousand dollars basically taking out fifty thousand dollars a year inflated at three percent so at 67, now our expenses have increased because of inflation. Social Security's kicking in. So we're getting Social Security of $2,800 a month. But now our expenses because of inflation have gone up and essentially we run out of money at 74 years old. We're out at zero or we're out at 74, we have zero dollars in retirement savings. So can I retire at, seven, at 55 with $750,000? Not with $50,000 in annual expenses. Now, keep in mind, we've gotta change some things. We either have to lower our monthly expenses, we have, to, we have to raise the amount of money we make in the market. So our rate of return has to increase or inflation has to lower. Well, let's just say this is not going to change. So inflation's not going anywhere. So it's going to just stay at 3%. Most people will say, well, Drew, I can earn more in the market. Well, let's see. How much do you have to earn to have $50,000 in retirement income based off of $750,000 in retirement savings and inflation at 3%? Your rate of return would have to be 9.38%. Now, my question to you is, can you guarantee 9.4% in your retirement investing accounts every year between ages 55 and 100? Probably not. And so now we have to go back to the expenses. 
we've got to lower our retirement expenses. So if we want to retire at 55 with $750,000, we either have to lower our expenses or bring in some more income. Now, if you're married, obviously, obviously this scenario is going to be different. I'm looking at this as a single individual. So let's go, let's look at this. Can I retire at 55 with $750,000 and lower our expenses? What do we have to get to in order to do this? Well, $750,000. When we look at the calculation, in order to retire at 55 with $750,000, our starting monthly retirement expenses would have to be $3,100. Because remember, that $3,100 is going to get inflation. So we're going to get 6% is our rate of return in the market. Our inflation rate is 3%. So from 55 to 67, we're going to take out $3,100 from our retirement investing accounts. So at 67, we'll have $687,445. Now at 67, we're kicking on Social Security of $2,800. Our expenses have increased from the $3,100. Now they're at $4,606. That's what our expenses are. So we'll take our expenses. We'll subtract out our Social Security, and that's what we're going to need from our retirement investing accounts for the rest of our life. 6% is still our rate of return, and 3% is inflation. How long is now this money going to last? We are out. We're at zero at 98. I feel really good about being at zero at 98 years old. So if you're wanting to retire at 55 with $750,000, assuming 6% rate of return, assuming 3% inflation rate, and assuming that you're single, you need to start with $3,100 in retirement income. All right? So I hope this has helped. We're asking the question, can I retire at 55 with $1 million? Now let's look at our individual again to remember our characteristics. We have a 55 year old individual. They are single. Social security at 67, $2,800 a month. And we're trying to get the 67 because that's the full retirement age. Remember, if you take social security at 62, you're only going to get 70% of your full retirement benefit. If you take it at 67, you get 100% of your full retirement benefit. And if you take Social Security at 70, you get 124% of your full retirement benefit. Because this individual is single, we're trying to maximize our Social Security benefit, which is why we're trying to get to 67, not starting it earlier, okay? Our retirement expenses are $50,000 a year. That's just the national average. Our rate of return for the million dollars in the market is 6%. That means this million dollars is going to stay invested. It's going to stay invested in high quality ETFs, dividend stocks, mutual funds, whatever. And it's going to earn a geometric return of 6%. Now we know the market doesn't move in a straight line. It moves like a roller coaster, like a duck, 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 and sequence of return risk which is the risk that the market will go down in the first few years of your retirement, that is a real risk. And it's something that needs to be calculated. But on the board, we're gonna use a 6% rate of return. The market's averaged 8% since 1950. So let's go back 2% to be more conservative and go to 6%. Our inflation rate is 3%. That's the 108 year average measured by the Consumer Price Index or CPI. So we've got a million dollars. We're 55 years old. Can I retire? Well, let's use the $50,000 in retirement expenses first. So we're going to go from 55 to 67. And we need $4,166 per month off of our million dollars. That's $50,000. Thousand dollars per year. Now, what we've done is we've taken this and I've used my retirement calculation software, my financial EKG, to make sure this $4,166 is getting that 3% inflation bump on a monthly basis. So instead of looking at it on an annual basis, we're going to look at it exactly like the consumer price index. We're going to look at it on a monthly basis. 6% is our rate of return in the market. 
and 3% is our inflation. So from 55 to 67, we're taking out $4,166 a month. At the end of those 12 years, we'll have $856,644 in retirement savings. So over the last 12 years, we've taken out, what is that, about $140,000? $150,000 in retirement income. Now we've earned 6% a year and our investments are down about $150,000. Not down because of loss, just down because we pulled out retirement income. Now from here, our expenses have gone up because of inflation. They've increased to $6,190 and we're kicking on Social Security of $2,800. 6% is our rate of return, 3% is our inflation. Now the one thing I did not calculate on here, and it's really hard to calculate this, is a Social Security COLA increase. Now the average COLA increase right now is 1.8%. That's what it's been measured since 1974 when they started measuring COLA for Social Security. So I'm just not going to calculate that in. As that goes up with this individual, it's going to be great. It's going to be gravy. But again, we're just trying to get a base case. So at this point, at age 67, we've got $856,000 in retirement savings. We need retirement income of $6,190. So we subtract out Social Security. How long does this money last? Well, this is out at 87 which is pretty good, 87 years old. The average life expectancy for a male is 82. Average life expectancy for a female is 84. So 87 is actually pretty good in this scenario. And the rate of return that you would need on this money to make sure it lasted until 100 is only 7.13%. So you'd actually only have to earn 7.13% annually to make sure this million dollars lasts forever. Now, can you guarantee that you're gonna make 7% every year for the rest of your life? No, which is why as a financial planner, we're gonna look at a different scenario. So, we've got a million dollars. I wanna get this just a few more years past 87. I'd like to get it into the mid 90s. I think that as, if you retire today at 55, Healthcare is going to be totally different, so we need to push this number to the mid-90s because that's how long I think you're going to live. So when I go into the software and I say, okay, I want this to last till 95, 96 years old, what do we need to adjust? Well, we know we can adjust our rate of return. That's the, how much the money makes in the market. That's not always the best thing to do. We can take inflation and take it down. We're not going to do that or we can adjust expenses. Let's do that first. Let's adjust expenses. So when we do that, the expense number that we would need to make this million dollars last to the mid 90s is at 55, we're gonna start with $3,800 in retirement expenses. We're gonna use the same rates of return, 6%, and inflation's gonna be at 3%. So let's go 55 to 67. At 67, we'd have $982,527. So as you can see, the difference here of, look at that, $130,000, or how about $120,000, because we lowered our expenses, what's that, 41 minus 38, about $300 per month. Now again, this $3,800 is getting inflation at 3% on a monthly basis, so it's an annualized inflation rate of 3%, broken down on a monthly basis. So at 67, again, Social Security kicks on of 2,800. Our new expenses then would be 5,646 because they've grown from 3,800. 6% again is our rate of return. Inflation's at 3%. How long does this last? Boom, we're at zero at 96. So 96, we've gone an extra 10 years basically from up here. Now, the rate of return that we would need to earn to make this million dollars last well past 100, it's really simple. It's only 6.32%. 
So now the rate of return from up here from 7.13 has come down to 6.32. So you see how you can really, if when you're doing retirement planning, it's not an all or nothing. There's a lot of different variables that we can look at to adjust to give us the scenario that best fits our individualized needs. So can I retire at 55 with a million dollars? Yes, you can if you do it the right way. Hey, thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you.